Good afternoon, everyone. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is December 11th, 2019, and I want to talk to you about the importance of the midnight hour. Countdown to midnight. The midnight hour is so significant in the Bible. There's so many connections to the importance of midnight and I want to share a few of these with you from the Bible. The first use of midnight is the most important one. It's just amazing. The importance of Exodus chapter 12. Okay. Exodus chapter 12. Number one, it's the number 12. Again, chapter 12. The first Passover. The first Passover, Exodus chapter 12. It's connected to the midnight hour. When at the midnight hour, everyone needed to be covered with the blood. Every house needed to be uh, covered with the blood of the lamb on the doors of the house so that the angel of death could not enter into the house and kill the firstborn. And so all of those that were in Israel, all of those that believed the word of the prophet Moses and obeyed were saved from the angel of death. Because if they had not believed Moses, and if they had not covered their doors, with blood, then the angel of death would have come in to their houses. They would not have been covered. They would not have been passed over. They were passed over because they believed, they obeyed. The blood of the lamb covered the doors. And it's all connected to the midnight hour. Exodus 12, 29 and 30. And it came to pass that at midnight, the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of cattle. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt, for the, there was not a house where there was not one dead. Every house in Egypt was affected. The entire country of Egypt was affected. There was not one house in Egypt where there was not one dead. All the firstborn in Egypt died the night of Passover. It was at midnight that the angel of death came. It was at midnight that the gate of the city was opened by Samson. Midnight, the gate of the city. Praise God, glory to God. Midnight, the gate will be open. Judges 16, 3, and Samson lay till midnight and arose at midnight and took the doors of the, great, of the gate of the city and the two posts and went away with them, bar and all, and put them upon his shoulders and carried them up, up to the top of a hill that is before Hebron. Praise God. Midnight, the gates of the city were open, were torn down. The door of the rapture of the church. Another amazing connection to midnight. Ruth and Boaz were joined in joined at midnight together. And Ruth and Boaz found each other. The love was born, the uniting of Ruth and the and her near kinsmen at midnight and it, it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid and turned himself and behold a woman lay at his feet and he said who art thou and she answered I am Ruth thine handmaid spread therefore thy skirt over thine handmaid for thou art a near kinsman Ruth 3 8 and 9 what a beautiful moment in time 
where Ruth and Boaz came together at midnight. What an amazing uh, connection to the bride of Christ coming into the wedding chamber at midnight. Another very important connection, and I don't know if you guys all remember this, but the case of Solomon and the wisdom of Solomon had a connection to midnight. The, the wisdom of Solomon, when Solomon brought forth the, the, uh, the, the judgment and his wisdom upon the, the, the baby that was left alive between the two women that were discussing, that were in disagreement about whose baby was alive and whose baby it was that was dead. This is all connected to midnight. And what we see here is the, the connection to the, the killing of the babies. This, 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 uh, this type of scene was just like when Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac and he had his sword and he was going to cut the boy and God stopped him from cutting the boy. These are typologies. These are, uh, these are prophetic moments in time that show us about the future and Solomon's wisdom was connected to midnight. In 1 Kings 3.20, she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while thine handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. At midnight, my child was taken from me and it was changed with another child. And it was through this moment in time that they brought their, they brought their uh, judgment or their, or their case to Solomon. And Solomon then brought forth his verdict of how to resolve this issue by killing the baby that was left alive. And obviously we know that he did not kill the baby, but it was through that act and through that judgment that he could be seen and known who the real mother was of that baby. We know that they know, okay, they know that judgment will come at midnight. That's why they have a doomsday clock that leads to midnight. And it, the closer you get to midnight, the closer you get to doomsday, judgment, the apocalypse, okay? It's a doomsday clock, and the closer it gets to midnight, you know there are dangers in the world that could be bringing about the, the, uh, the apocalypse, okay? Now look at this verse from the book of Job. This is the first time I've really seen it this way, but this was so amazing. This is so amazing in the book of Job 34:20. In a moment shall they die, and the people shall be troubled at midnight and pass away. And the mighty shall be taken away without hand. This is an amazing verse of scripture right here. In a moment shall they die. The people will be troubled at midnight. And the mighty shall be taken away without hand. This is the rapture. The mighty will be taken away. The people of God. The elect of God, the army of God will be taken away without hand, without hand, of course, because it's the power of the Holy Spirit that will be bringing the dead in Christ out of their graves. And those that remain until he comes shall be taken up into the clouds. This is an amazing verse of scripture right here. They know that judgment will come at midnight 
And it's written in God's word that midnight will bring about the trouble. The people will be troubled at midnight. Psalm 119.62 says, At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. So we rise at midnight and the judgment comes. We rise at midnight. I will, at midnight I will rise. Okay? It doesn't say at midnight I will lie down and give you thanks. It says midnight I will rise and give you thanks. And because of your judgments. And so we are risen with Christ at midnight and the judgment comes upon the earth. One of the most famous and important uh, verses in the Bible about midnight. I know everyone knows this verse, but this is so, uh, connects everything else in such a beautiful way. And it's so obvious and so clear and it's, it's expressed in perfection. At midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom comes, go out to meet him. We cannot be any clearer than this, that the bridegroom comes at midnight. And it, it's the sound of the, of, the, of the cry of the angel of God crying out, saying, The bridegroom comes, go out to meet him. When does he come? He comes at midnight. At midnight. It says in Acts 16, 25 and 26, at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed, saying praises unto God. The prisoners heard them. Suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. And the great earthquake that is connected to the rapture and the beginning of the, the wrath of God, the great earthquake, and this is all happening at midnight. They were freed. The prisoners were freed. And a great earthquake came to begin the wrath of God at midnight. This sign on 12-12, at 12-12, AM is an amazing sign that confirms to us the importance of midnight, the importance of the midnight hour, the full moon at midnight. This is a long night's moon. Isn't that going to be the longest night of the world? The night when no man can work, the great tribulation. The long night's moon, the cold moon, and it's the last full moon of the decade. Of all the moons in the, in the entire decade, this is the last full moon of this decade. The next full moon will be in the new decade of 2020. And the last full moon of this decade is 12-12 at 12-12 Eastern Time. Now, we've seen the importance of the full moon being connected to the appointed day. Let's take a look again at the full moon being connected to the appointed day. Proverbs 7, 19, and 20, it says, For the good man is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He had taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. The day appointed. This in the Hebrew is Strong's 3677. 3677 in the Hebrew Strong's means full moon. For the good man is not at home. He is gone on a long journey. He hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the full moon. 
Just as it says in Matthew 25, 6, at midnight a cry was heard. Go out to meet him. The bridegroom is coming at midnight. And now we have a full moon on 12, 12, 12, 12. And the appointed day is the full moon. Here are the, are the connections that God is giving to us. So many signs and important uh, messages within the word of God connected to the midnight hour. Midnight, 12, 12, 12, 12. The importance of God's government on 12, 12, 12, 12. 12 tribes, 12 disciples, 12 gates. 144 cubits, it's 12,000 by 12,000 by 12,000. The New Jerusalem is all connected to the number 12. The, the, the government of God, the God's perfect number of completion and perfection. 12 cubed, 12 times 12 times 12. It's a, so many amazing signs. And so we are here right now within this time frame that we have been watching and all the signs that have happened over the last week, especially on December 5th, when the House in the United States voted for a two-state solution on Jerusalem, connected to the judgment on Babylon because of their rejection of Israel, a seven-day warning to December 12th. So many things have been happening. So many things are, are, are connected to right now where we are. And so I have created a countdown clock this is a countdown to midnight. This is midnight on December 12th in Israel. Midnight on December 12th in Israel. We're talking about at the end of the day on December 12th, which in Central Standard Time, which would, would be 4 o'clock on our, on our watch, in Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. on December 12th. This is the exact day and time that my sign came when I was given a sign in the sun. On December 12th, 2012, my sign came at midnight. My sign came 12, 12, 12, 12. Just like the, the, the full moon right now is 12, 12, 12, 12. My sign came on December 12, 2012 at midnight Jerusalem time. 4 p.m. here where I am, Central Standard Time, Yucatan, Mexico. The sign came exactly at 4 p.m. And that was midnight, Jerusalem. That's how I knew when the sign would come because God showed me 12, 12, 12 at midnight. And I knew that it was Jerusalem was the key marker. So I was watching for the sign here in Yucatan, Mexico at 4 p.m. And the sign came at the appointed time. So this is what I'm sharing with you. And the reason why God has put into me a, ne a, ne a necessity, a desire, a, a longing, a burning, and a fire to be able to share with you the importance of the midnight hour, the countdown to midnight, that right now we are looking at one day and two hours and 58 minutes. It's, we're, looking at, we're looking at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, December 12th. Remember that December 12th, 2019 is also 12, 12, 12 because 
2019, if you add 2 plus 1 plus 9, it's 12. So from my sign, on 12-12-12, it's 7 years exactly to 12-12-12. Again. And we have this confirmation in the full moon, which is the appointed day for the return of the, of the bridegroom, for the return of the husband. He's gone away on a long journey. He will return on the day appointed. He will return on the full moon. And he returns at midnight. And now we have a full moon that's midnight. It's 12, 12, 12, 12. What more do we need to see? Full moon at 12, 12, 12, 12. So instead of watching, I'm not watching the exact moment of the fullness of the moon. What I'm watching is that is a sign for us of 12, 12, 12, 12. And for me, that brings us to the very end of the day on December 12th. And it brings us to the beginning of Friday the 13th. The midnight hour. And I've just shown you from scripture how everything is connected to midnight. From Passover, the gates of Samson, the judgment of Solomon, and Job 34.20. What an amazing scripture, Job 34.20. In a moment shall they die. The people shall be troubled at midnight and pass away. And the mighty shall be taken away without hand. God's word is glorious. It's perfect. And it gives us everything we need to understand. God gives us his wisdom. God gives us his understanding. And I do pray with all my heart that we have come to the time of our escape. The escape at midnight at the same time as the great earthquake. Just like it says in the book of Acts. Are you ready for the return of Jesus Christ? I do pray you are blessed. I will leave the link for you of the countdown to midnight, December 12th, midnight in Jerusalem. I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.